Hey guys, so recently off Amazon, I bought this Shani palette and it came with this really gorgeous blue shade. I just wanted to play with it. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I'm starting off by prepping my face with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and my EOS Lip Balm. And then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And I'm using my LA Girl Eyebrow Pencil in the color Deepest Brown. I'm using my e.l.f. Shape and Stay Wax Pencil just to like keep my eyebrows in place and priming my eyelids with my LA Girl Pro Primer. And then setting that with my Morphe palette, this like brownish shade. And I'm gonna neaten up my eyebrows with my Black Opal Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze, which I always use the love of my Life. Then I'm gonna add some tape to my face just to like guide me with my smoky eye and like not make a mess of myself. So I'm using this like shade from my Morphe palette, this like really dark brown shade. And I'm using that as a transition color because I am doing a smoky eye, so I'm just gonna use a darker one. And I'm just using that, fanning that out like into a wing. Then I'm gonna pack on the blue shade from my shiny palette isn't it gorgeous it is so pigmented and just like beautiful and crimson and just perfect i love it i just really pack it in there now i'm gonna go in my outer corner of my eye with this black shade also from my morphe palette I'm gonna blend the edges out just a little bit into the transition shade, but not all the way up. And into the blue color of my inner crease, of course. So now I'm just packing a little bit more of that black shade to like create more depth and darken up that smoky eye. So I don't just like have like I don't know, not smoky eye, and just blending it into the blue. <laughs> now I'm doing my eyeliner. I'm using a Ruby Kisses eyeliner that I got from the hair store, and I really do like this because it stays in place and it's like super cheap. Yep, lately I haven't been going all the way into my like inner corner of my eye with my eyeliner because I just think it makes the shape of my eyes look way prettier and yeah. So taking off that tape, now it's time to do my foundation. I'm just going to try to not ruin any of that work that I already did and I did a pretty good job. And here I'm just using my Sephora 10 hour wear perfection foundation and I'm just gonna blend that in with my blending sponge and sharpening up my eyeliner making sure it lines up exactly where that crease ends and just cleaning it up with some concealer sorry if I sound funny I'm like Woke up with a stuffy nose this morning and I didn't even know it was going to happen. So yeah, now I'm going to contour my nose and my cheekbones with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in, I think, their darkest shade. I'll put all the shades in the description below. And then I'm going to highlight with my Black Opal Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze. Next up, I'm gonna highlight just a little bit more, like along my nose and my like forehead and stuff. A little bit more with my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer because I I just didn't think my Black Paul highlighted enough. You know, and it's just like it's more smooth. It's just a little bit lighter than that color, so I decided to go in with this. 
Now for contour, I got this palette off of Amazon. I'm not sure what it's called because it isn't Chinese, but I use the darkest color because I like using a really dark contour, especially when I have a smoky eye and I'm just going to blend that out really, really, really well. Now using my True Complexions palette, I'm going to highlight my face in all those areas you're supposed to highlight, your eyes, nose, you know, under your contour. And I'm just going to like let that sit a little bit. So now I'm going to apply my second pair of lashes because I was struggling with that first one. And I'm going to apply some mascara and line my lower lash line with the same brush that I used to apply the eyelid color with a little bit of my transition color on top of it. And then I'm going to line my lower waterline with this Kiss Professionals um, pen eye pencil, eyeliner pencil in the color beige. And going on to my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Teeny Tiny and I'm lining it with my Kelly Girl lip liner in the color Deepest Brown. And I use a lip brush just to blend in my lip liner color into my lipstick color just to make the lip look a little bit more cool tone and matching my eyeshadow way better. That's the look. If you like it, be sure to like this video down below, subscribe to my channel, and tell me what you think in the comments because I'd love to know. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!